Hello guys, it's Ash and today I'll be starting a new series on my channel in which I'll be developing a Discord bot and teaching you guys how to develop yours along the way. So I'll be achieving this with a piece of software called the Discord bot maker. It's uh, I believe five to ten dollars on Steam and it's a really handy pr uh, tool or software whatever you want to call it. You can do pure JavaScript in the software and it just helps you organize and helps you start the basics. So uh, first of all, uh, you'll be launching the Disco Bot Maker in version 2. Basically, when you first get Disco Bot Maker, it'll give you a whole welcome message. If you can just put this aside, if you guys want to read this, go ahead. So, uh, let's create a new project. Let's name it um, Destiny. It'll take some time and give it a minute and I'll come back when it's done. Alright, so once you're loaded in, it should look something like this. You have your commands here, and your events here, and your settings here. So first of all, you'll need to create a Discord bot. For that, I'll leave a link in the description. You can just go onto this website. It's Discord's official website. So you just go in here, you log in, and ignore all of this, because this is my, uh, you know, projects. And just click on the application. For in here, uh, just select personal. And let's name our Discord bot something like uh, Tutorial. So once you've done that, click Create. Give it a second, and then it should be done. So once you're done in this, in this you should get an application ID. This is your client ID. And here you can have your bot's description. You can change the name and everything. Um, uh, let me just tell you guys this. This general information, anything you put in here. So, for example, if you change the PFP in here and the bot's name, it's only going to show up here. If you want the actual Discord, uh, the bot's name changed, you'll need to go into this bot section and click Add Bot. So, once you do this, this makes your application a true Discord bot. So, go ahead and do that. Now, uh, you have successfully created a bot. Now, every bot has uh, a token. This is a token that is used to log in and access the bot. So, uh, let's just keep the name tutorial bot. And if you want, you can go ahead and change the PFP. So, uh, once you have gone ahead and create, created your bot, copy this token and go into your Discord bot maker and paste it right here. All right. So, once you've pasted that in, uh, go ahead and open your Discord and go to user settings, advanced, and enable developer mode so what this will do is if you right click uh, a message sent by you or your place in the uh, hoisted people you can go ahead and right click and copy id so copy your id and paste it in here bot owner id so v uh, with the help of this you can restrict certain commands to be only run by th this certain account which is bound to this all right so after you have done that uh, go ahead and go to editor settings and I, I recommend clicking fill it'll give you more area and space to work with so go ahead and go to commands and let's create our first command so you'll see a bunch of settings here the command name the description the permission required to use this command and command restriction command type so we're going to be making um, uh, a text command let's just start off with something ping so uh once you've done that let's click this create so in the disco maker you have these actions so what this will do is you have certain actions like uh creating a thread creating wish on delete channel with these actions you can make the bot do anything you want so let's first uh make a quick uh ping uh, ping command so uh, a lot of people what they do is they only just reply with pong but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to show the bot's ping. So what we're going to do is going to go click create. And with Disco Bot Maker, there is an action called store bot client info. And if you go in here and go down a little bit, you should see bot measurements ping rounded. So there is a, a three way variable system in Disco Bot Maker. So there are temp variables that are that only exist until a command is run and ended. There are server variables, the server that are the variables that are bound to a server, and global variables. These variables are always global and always exist. So keep in mind a variable will only exist 
uh, forever if it's saved. Temp variables, there is no way to save it. Server variables need to be saved and global variables need to be saved too. So everything will be temp unless or until you store it. So we're going to, we're just making a simple ping command. Uh, so we're going to store it in temp variable because we're not going to need it later on because we're just going to show it in a simple message. So we'll just store it in a variable named ping. So click the create action and there we go. This has created uh, an action. So it's storing the bots run at ping. So let's go ahead and create another action. And in this, it'll be send message. So if you want to send a message to the same channel, the channel that the, the command was executed in, um, just go ahead and right click and go into insert temp variables. And here you'll see your ping. So this will be your rounded ping. And you can use this in a, in a message and uh, because ping doesn't come with uh, the suffix ms so I'll just say a number like 150 or 160 we're just going to write ms here and uh, let's just give it a, a quick message so pong and then uh, it'll show our ping so uh, go ahead and click create action so this is done so if we go ahead and click control s and save it and I recommend you guys going to go here to project open project directory and then in here you'll see some files there's the bot.js there's actions there's data and all of that things that are required for the bot to run so uh, if you guys have not already installed node.js go ahead and do so uh, I'll leave a, a small video on how to install node.js up in the i button I recommend installing node.js version 16 because right now it is the most stable one and the best recommendation for the disco bomb maker so go ahead and click project and open project directory and in here you just click on the address bar and type cmd so once you've done this uh you can do node space hyphen v or minus v either whatever you call it and this will show you your node version so this is my node.js version and you guys can see that so first of all we're going to do npm npm is a model manager so uh, it can be used to install a package or remove a package in node.js so we're just going to do npm i what it's going to do is it's going to install some uh, basic uh, packages that are required go ahead and do node space bot.js because the main file is called bot.js i recommend not changing the file names because it is required uh, by Disco Bot Maker for to have default file names. If you want to, however, you'll need to change a lot of settings in the main file, and you you'll need to edit a lot. But I really highly recommend just sticking to the default name bot.js. So go ahead and click Enter, and give it a second, and there you go. It says bot is ready. So one uh, after that, you can open your Discord, and uh, we'll need to invite the bot to the server, of course. So what you can do is open this go bot maker and go into settings, go into bot settings. And here, uh, if you notice, as soon as we paste the bot token, it gave us a URL to invite the bot. So you just click this URL and it should open your browser. Go ahead and select the server you want the bot to be in and click authorize. Once you've done that, the bot should be in the server and ready to use. So this is the console. Anything that uh, anything that causes an error, you can see it here, and it can be used to log certain things or anything. So once you have that ready, I recommend you restart the bot. So you can hold Control, hold it, and then press C to stop it. So let's just quickly restart the bot. So stop it, and then just not bot address again. And there we go. So if you, if you go into settings and go to text command options, there is this there is a few options here. You see, command case sensitive. So this is uh, if you enable this, what this will do is it'll basically make your command so you have to type the exact same thing. But if you have it disabled, so let's say you have a command named uh, ping, right? So uh, if it's disabled, even if you write it like this, it'll work. But if it's enabled, you'll have to exactly write it like this. So, and command tag is basically prefix. So this is put before every single text command that you have. 
So if you want to execute the ping command, we'll need to do exclamation mark ping. So let's go ahead and test what we have made. And as you guys can see, we got an error. And it's, it says fail to install load AVG windows. And please retry and install manually. So you might run into some errors, especially these errors with error cannot find module. So what you want to do is control C to stop it. Just do it a few times so just to make sure it kills it. So npm i. And then like it says here, or you can just look at this thing and just type it like it says. So load avg hyphen windows. Alright, so once you have installed the package, just ignore all of this. This should not really cause an issue. 99% uh, of the times, not even 99, pretty much all the times, you can just straight up ignore this. So after that, go ahead and type no bot.js. And as you can see, it says bot is ready. Now if you do exclamation mark ping, there you go. Uh, I live in South Asia, so the ping might be... Uh, very high for that reason but i'm pretty sure if you live in the north region or the north americas the ping should be under 50 or something so that's how to set up a basic bot and i'll be dropping more tutorials on youtube on how to make moderation commands or anything like that and i'll teach you guys uh, how to use the scuba maker and a lot of things along the way so thank you for watching and um, please make sure to like and subscribe because it's uh, a really big factor because if you guys like and subscribe uh, every single content creator looks it up to as motivation and uh, it tells them that what they're doing is good or bad so please give me feedback and if you guys have any questions let me know i will try and i will try my best to answer each and every single one of them and yeah thank you for watching and peace out